When I look into her eyes, I see paradise. Welcome back to it. So today I'm doing one of like the most requested videos online. Like people keep texting me to make this video. When I was starting out as a new workout person, you know, when I was starting to work out for the first time, I wish that this video was out there because I had no guidance whatsoever as to like what to do, how to start working out and what is working out exactly. I have never worked out before, before I actually started working out. I had never worked out before. So I didn't actually have a practice of working out regularly. Here, I am going to tell you guys what I learned during my one and a half years of working out. Let's get right on to it. The first tip that I can tell you when you're starting work, like starting to work out, is to set a realistic goal for yourself. I was that person. I was Googling and there were like all these articles about how to lose weight in two days. That does not work. I have no idea how it works. I don't know how people like lose weight in two days unless you like don't eat for the two days. Set realistic goals because Rome wasn't built in one day so you're not gonna lose your fat or get toned in one day or one week or one month. Working out the journey, I want to say that working out the journey, there's no correct destination. Even when you get your toned abs and your toned legs, you can't just stop working out. You need to work out to maintain it. Remember, it's the journey that matters, not the destination. So set realistic goals, set times, set honest and realistic goals. If you haven't worked out like ever, if you're a couch potato, you can't expect to work out seven days a week. Second thing, mindset. Like I said you need to have a good mindset you can't go into working out thinking this is not gonna work you can't go into working out being like you know what I'm just gonna be this way forever I'm never gonna be able to reduce it you can't go in thinking those negative thoughts if you even while you're working out if you're thinking oh my god this is so hard I cannot do this why are they putting so many planks in this I used to hate planks but now okay so it's the thing okay you cannot think negative thoughts while you're working out because then it just demotivates you and then you just don't want to do it again I used to hate planks because I used to literally hate planks. I had to keep telling myself that planks are great for you. Planks are a great way to tone your abs. I just kept giving myself positive thoughts and I think that's what made me overcome my hatred towards planks. Literally, planks are good for you so don't have any hate towards planks. I started working out with like TikTok and Instagram. You know, I was browsing through Instagram one day. I realized that, you know, Instagram and TikTok have a lot of starter workouts. I'm not sure if they give you exact results. I'm not saying they don't, but I'm just saying I don't know. As a starter person, I, I started out with this person on Instagram Instagram I was following her I used to follow that the first month or so to like warm up to the workout feeling because I've never done all those things before I've never done a reverse crunch in my life I didn't even know what the hell a reverse crunch was I didn't know what spider plank meant I didn't know anything so I'm not sure they actually give you long-term results but as a starter person I think you should just go browse social media because I mean get some use out of it and search for these starter workouts go on self-care pages you can check out mine if you want just browse through them pick some I don't know five minute workout and just do them for five minutes ten minutes that small goals at the beginning those actually help me so they're, they're like a good workout warm up warm up so once you like you know pick a few workouts and then pick a few motivational songs I know that helped me because I used to listen to these songs like Believer Hall of Fame they actually helped me get through the 20 minutes or 10 minutes at the start at the beginning because I mean it's boring to do anything without music trust me it is so once you are warmed up your body and your mind to the working out thing because you were couch potato before and now you are okay to like start actual workouts you can start Chloe Ting she has professional and then like moderate workouts for people who literally fall down every two seconds trying to do a plank me in the beginning it's always good to like follow the moderate version like if the full workout is for 30 seconds do it for 20 seconds and the rest of the 10 seconds try the moderate version so that you know you're not like burning out and you're not super tired in the first few months because I know like when you're starting out it's very hard to keep up with those like because Chloe Ting is like a pro and you keep falling down you keep dying in the brain you keep sweating like hell and then you just keep falling down on the mat half dead it's always good to try the moderate version but I also suggest this thing if you feel like stopping don't stop do the moderate version because then you're at least doing something you know so you can like swap it if you want because there's no rule so a few of my favorite workout people are Chloe Ting, Holly Dolk, Holly Dolky I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce your name Holly Dolky or Holly Dolk 
and this is the name up here so you can type it on youtube and say check it out lily sabri and pamela reese so lily sabri oh my god lily sabri is amazing her workouts are amazing she motivates you while you're doing the workout so that's cool it's great she has killer music i hit a moment where i tried chloe i tried holly i tried lily and i wanted more spice to it you know i felt like i had reached the ultimate level of working out even if you're a workout pro like if you have done workout pros like if you have been working out for 10 years you will die when you do pam please because it's like there's like beginner workouts and then there's moderate there's big like there's easy moderate okay ish you know you're in the level of you know what i'm okay to like try more things and then you're in good extreme killer you're dead hammer reef because oh my god i tried a 5 minute ab workout or something and i think my abs died i was like sweating and dying and trying not to die at the same time she's a me I read comments on her video that said people who have been doing her workouts for like nearly 10 years also die every single time they do her workout. I did an arm workout. Okay, I did an upper body workout and I almost died of doing arm circle. I think looking at her you just die. I understand how she looks so gorgeous because of her killer workout. You are a person who manages to finish like right, Pamela Reeves workouts without sweating. Who are you? You are an alien. Because even Pamela Reeves sometimes struggles to get through her workout because she she also falls she falls down and you know what when you look at her videos you can see that she's also human and she's not a robot so try a few of those people out once you're like cool and okay with starting workouts so all these people that i did mention have workout guides if you want to follow those if you don't have any idea about how to start you know what workout suit your body they also have quizzes diet plans and recipe books that you can try out just go to their websites i think they're always linked down in the description or just google search the name i think at the beginning it's always important to start out small start with like 10 minutes maybe you can do it every day for 5 minutes every day 5 minutes that's a good start you don't want to do every day you can do 10 minutes once a week um, i don't know anything that suits you you don't always have to do big workouts at the start like i said go on instagram go on tiktok they have like moderate versions of all the stuff it's progress that matters when i started out there were certain exercises and workouts that i could not do so now i can do them and i'm actually happy to see myself progressing step by step another thing is you don't always have to do huge workouts or follow youtubers or follow anything walking walking is a very good exercise and this walk you have a walking path or like a running track near your house walk there or just walk down your road walk inside your house you can walk inside the house if you have a long corridor you can have a short corridor just walk up and down the staircase that's a good exercise move your body just dance man all those things burn calories and burn fat jog you can do skipping rope run if you are a runner and then go going on the treadmill bicycle thing those or just riding bikes in general one thing that's good about the treadmill is that i used to watch my daily friends episode while going on the treadmill so that way i did a productive thing and i also got to watch my daily netflix episode if you are feeling unmotivated if you are feeling like you don't know where to start or what to do combine something that you love with your workout so like for example this treadmill thing so if you want to work out 40 minutes and you watch two friends episodes and it's done man i mean friends episodes just fly by whatever your favorite episode is what like whatever your favorite tv show is combine it with treadmills and then when you're working out or you're running you can listen to your favorite like music or podcast or an ebook there's so many things so many ways you can combine working out and fun things together and once you get into the groove of working out working out actually fun because you see progress you see results you start seeing results like actual results you start seeing your legs getting toned that's actually a better motivation think of your end goal while you're working out when you feel like quitting don't quit you're not going to feel good if you quit don't quit and you feel like quitting do the moderate version just walk around even that's fine if you don't feel like doing the certain exercise pick another person you're not bound to anyone okay you can change whatever workout you want stop it pause the video and rest for a few minutes and start again i mean there's no rule that you do it straight away like in one stretch if you want you can like get a workout buddy and keep each other you know in place ask them if they worked out help them you know motivate them and then they can motivate you talk to each other motivate each other get yourself working out and all of that so basically that's how you start the best advice i can give you is just start on the sit here 
Twitter and be on Instagram and looking for the perfect workout routine. That's not gonna happen. Go now and look up easy workouts and just warm your body into the groove of working out. Then start out with whatever, whoever person you want. It doesn't have to be Chloe, Lily or anyone that I mentioned. So I hope that helped you get into working out because I know that starting is the most difficult thing in the world. So start now and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like it, share with your friends comment down below any other suggestions that you want you know who's your favorite youtube workout person comment down below leave a comment down below let me know and i will see you on friday bye guys